Wings of Wishes In the big kingdom of Windale, there was a large castle where Prince Alex lived. The castle had so many rooms and big windows that it often felt too big and empty, especially for a young boy like Alex. He really wanted friends and adventures beyond the castle walls. One clear night, as Alex looked out from his balcony, a soft breeze brought a surprise. A magical white horse named Serafina, with shiny wings that looked like moonlight on water, landed gently in the garden. Good evening, Prince Alex, she said with a friendly smile. I am Serafina, the horse that grants wishes. I travel around helping children make their wishes come true. Would you like to come with me? Alex felt so excited and curious. He quickly said, Yes, I'd love to. How can I help? Serafina bent down so Alex could climb onto her shiny wings. Together, they flew into the night, ready to find adventures and make new friends. Their first stop was a quiet place called Meadowbrook. It was much quieter than the big castle. They met a shy girl named Elsie, who had big, hopeful eyes. She wished for her mom to get better because she had been sick for a very long time. When Elsie told them her wish, Alex looked at Serafina, wondering if magic could help. Serafina gently nudged Elsie and said, Some wishes need more than magic, Alex. They need real help and a lot of love. Feeling a new responsibility, Alex decided to do more than just listen. He made sure the best doctors from the kingdom came to visit Elsie's mom. They brought new medicines that could really help. But Alex didn't just stop there. He often visited Elsie's house, bringing little gifts to make her happy. Sometimes it was a storybook, some tasty apples from the castle garden, or a bunch of wildflowers. Each time he visited, he talked with Elsie and her mom and shared stories about his life. As days went by, Elsie's mom started to feel better. The doctors helped a lot, but Alex knew his visits helped too. It wasn't just the medicine that made things better, but also the laughter, the stories, and the friendship he brought that filled the house with joy. After Meadowbrook, Alex and Serafina went to Thornfield. This village had a big problem. Nothing would grow in their fields anymore. The soil was dry and cracked, and even though Serafina tried to help with her magic dust, it didn't work. The children were so sad. Seeing how disappointed they were, Alex felt a strong need to help. He remembered how much it meant to help Elsie and her mom. He told Serafina and the children, Magic has its limits, but our efforts don't. And so, Alex didn't give up. He knew they needed more than a quick fix. He brought smart farmers from Windale who knew a lot about plants and soil. They brought books, tools, and seeds, and taught everyone in Thornfield how to take care of their land. Alex worked hard with the villagers. He learned to make irrigation channels, mix compost into the soil, and plant seeds. All the villagers, young and old, worked with him. Each day they saw that with hard work and good ideas, they could make things better. Even on very hot days when the work was tough, they kept going. Then one morning, they saw little green plants starting to grow. Everyone smiled, and Alex felt so proud. He had helped bring hope to Thornfield, not with magic, but with persistence and learning. Next, Alex and Serafina went to Seabreeze, a village by the sea that often had big storms. The storms damaged homes and boats, making it hard for the villagers. When they got there, the villagers came to meet them, hoping for help. 
A boy named Tom stepped up and asked, Can you help us not be so scared of the storms? Serafina tried to calm the sea with her wings, but it was only for a little while. Alex knew they needed a better solution. He got together with smart architects and engineers from his kingdom. They designed new houses that could stand up to the strong winds and waves. They used special materials that wouldn't get ruined by water and made roofs that the wind couldn't lift off. Alex also helped build a big seawall to protect the village from the big waves. It was a huge project, bigger than anything he had done before, but he really wanted to help. As they built the seawall, the children in the village started to smile more. They played on the beach, not worried about the waves anymore. When the project was finished, Sea Breeze was safer and the people felt more secure. They knew they had good protection against the storms. When it was time for Serafina to leave, Alex looked at his kingdom, happy to see that it was full of joy and hope. He thanked Serafina for teaching him about the magic of hard work and helping others. Serafina smiled, her eyes twinkling. Remember, Alex, you have everything you need inside you to make a difference. With one last beautiful swoop, Serafina flew into the sunset, leaving a trail of light. Prince Alex watched her go, knowing he wasn't just a prince of a castle anymore, but a prince for the people, ready to spread happiness and kindness everywhere. The End